And Sheldon, we turn now to the night teams of Colin Salada live on the scene in Miramar as well with more of the criminal past of the two killers here. Plus, we're hearing from more of the drivers caught up in the chaos, Nicole. Well, you know, Jeff, we're also learning that those two robbers really were no strangers to trouble with the law. But many of the people that we have spoken to who were out here at the time never expected to cross paths with anyone like that. And they certainly never thought they would get caught up in a gunfight. They were shooting everywhere. You see it in this UPS truck, now bullet ridden, hauled away by the FBI. I was suddenly, it started like a gunshot. They were like, I, I thought, I was like, oh my God, it looks like fireworks. 24 hours after the shootout that left four people dead on this stretch of Miramar Parkway, Juliana Oots says she is still shaking. That's her white Toyota Corolla parked at the light at Flamingo Road, the hijacked UPS truck just a few car lengths back. Press the, the gas, the accelerator. I, I went through the red light and I just go super fast. After the nearly 30 mile chase, the shootout. About 30 seconds later, the hostage UPS driver Frank Ordonez lay dead. The two suspected robbers, too, killed. Lamar Alexander and Ronnie Jerome Hill, both 41. Alexander has a criminal history that reaches back into the 1990s and was convicted of armed robbery in 2008. He was released from prison in 2017. Hill, too, has a criminal history that dates back into the 90s, and he has convictions on burglary or related charges in 2014, 15, and 16. He too released from prison in 2017. Alexander landed in prison after robbing a Fort Myers jewelry store, then leading police on a high speed chase up to Sarasota County. Thursday's shootout also took a fourth life. Driver Richard Cutshaw shot while behind the wheel, his car coming to a stop in the intersection. The same intersection Juliana Oots sped through in a panic. 24 hours later, she was here again, alive and safe, and watching another UPS driver in the same spot, just going about his business. It's just like I was yesterday. My prayers go out for the UPS driver, for the family, and for the bystander. You don't wish that for anybody. And Juliana Utz tells us that she is really having a hard time coming to terms with being so close to such death and devastation. And she is certainly most likely not the only one. Reporting live in Miramar tonight, Nicole Insalata, 7 News 19.